Hey guys, Perez the Dev, hope you're having a great day. I frequently get asked a lot, you know, what is the best IT certification you will recommend to me, Ryan? We take a look at, is the CompTIA A plus really good? CompTIA Security plus? CompTIA Network plus? Or maybe go more the Cisco route, the Cisco CCNA? You know, what level certifications should I actually go for? And you know, what would actually be most beneficial to me? And this is one of those, it really depends. Like if we go ahead and take a look at the CompTIA a plus certification. This is really designed for entry level IT professionals who want to start in IT, who have no experience whatsoever. But with this certification, you can learn all about and really have that starting point. Okay, this is what I need to know about IT. And this is everything that I can go ahead and learn all packaged within the certification. So when I've studied, when I actually understand the material and I pass the certification, I can say, you know what? I have a foundational fundamental understanding of IT, of technology in general. So the CompTIA A plus is really great if you really want to dive into the very beginnings of IT, if you're just starting off in IT. So you really want to go ahead and take a look at where are you currently at and then where do you want to go? Because if you can take a look at those two, if you are currently at beginning level with no experience whatsoever, no degree, nothing whatsoever, then maybe the CompTIA A plus is right for you. Because again, CompTIA A plus is really focused on that entry level IT professional and talks all about everything you need to know, including networking and everything else, not just networking, but all the little skill sets you need to know across the board within IT. So you have a great understanding of how to be a more effective IT professional in something like a more help desk role, IT technician sort of roles. Now, if you want to go ahead and dive a little further, if you maybe have a little bit more experience or you know you want to really dive into networking, then of course, the CCNA should be the right one for you. The Cisco CCNA stands for Cisco Certified Network Associate. And so with the Cisco CCNA, it's gonna teach you everything you need to know about Cisco and networking their equipment, how to become really a network admin or a network engineer, because they're going to teach you everything within that certification that you need to know to be able to manage the equipment, to be able to go ahead and be a network engineer or network admin, right? So CCNA, really great. If you already have some experience within IT and understand the fundamentals of you know what are protocols and how do different areas within IT actually work and then you want to dive into networking and make that your specialty but if you have no experience whatsoever you don't really have the foundational understanding of IT and how technology just works in general then maybe again the CompTIA A plus might be the right certification for you because you have no experience because you're not really sure of what you want to get specific in or you just don't have any real knowledge foundational knowledge within IT but if you already have a few years of experience maybe you're already in a help desk role maybe you're an IT technician or maybe you even have a few years of experiencing just studying IT and you kind of have the main gist of IT professionals and the IT industry. You know, you have some experience and exposure to the IT world. Then, you know, maybe the Cisco CCNA is the right certification for you because you wanna go more down the networking path, right? Because with the CCNA, it only focuses on Cisco's devices, you know, Cisco networking, and that's it. It doesn't go into this broad other spectrums of other skill sets to learn within IT. Even though Cisco CCNA, I would even consider potentially might not even be an entry level certification because it dives into so many different areas within networking, but it's a really great entry level certification if you want to dive into network. But compared to other IT certifications, it is a lot more to actually go ahead and study, prepare for. Anyways, with the CompTIA A+, it's specifically designed for people who are starting off in their IT careers who are currently entry level because they have no experience. Whereas the Cisco CCNA is really focused on becoming a network engineer because you already have some experience and you have the foundational fundamental understanding of IT and technology. So those are the real key differences between the CompTIA A+, the Cisco CCNA. Again, a matter of asking yourself, where are you currently at? So what experience do you have within IT? Have you had within the IT industry? What experience do you have learning within the IT? You know, maybe you are currently working towards your degree and you have some exposure with maybe some extracurricular activities or you've done internships or you've worked full time, depending where you're at. Maybe you have a few years of experience. Maybe you don't even want to do networking. Maybe you're more of a security person. You know, instead of going for the CompTIA Security Plus, if you already have some experience, maybe you go for that SSCP, right? The System Security certified pr a practitioner is the SSCP that might be a good one because that does require a minimum of one year of experience but again if you have no experience whatsoever if that's where you're currently at and you want to go to more of a security role 
then maybe you go for the CompTIA Security Plus because that certification is specifically geared for people in entry-level role or an entry-level position just in their life who want to dive into security and prove that they've taken the time to learn the fundamentals of security and IT security, right? So maybe the CompTIA Security Plus is right for you. Again, depending on where you're at and where you want to go. If you want to go more towards security and you have experience, then yeah, SSAP, maybe even the CISSP. But I think if you just ask yourself, where am I currently at and where do I want to go? And from there, when you can distinguish those two questions, then you can go ahead and create a sort of roadmap for yourself of where you're at, how much experience you got, and then what is the missing gap? What is that void that you need to fill so you can go ahead and accomplish the goals that you're really trying to get after? Again, whether it's you just want to get a role within IT, get some experience, great. CompTIA A plus is great for you. Maybe you want to really already have some experience and you want to develop further into a more networking role, then great, go for that Cisco CCNA. Or you want to go more towards security and you have some experience, SSCP, or maybe diving into the CISSP, depending on where you're at. Because the CISSP requires five years of experience within IT, SSCP requires one year. Again, asking yourself, where are you at and where you want to go, I think will give you the best recipe for really figuring out what certifications are right for you. So instead of thinking about, you know, whether should I go after the CompTIA certifications or the CCNA, just ask yourself where exactly it is you want to end up because it requires time as well. You have to take time to study for all these certifications. So which one is going to provide the most value for you, for your career and help you advance further into your career in the next six months, year, wherever you want to be. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and follow. And please feel free to leave your thoughts, comments, questions down below. Please always make sure to keep them positive, happy. You know, I know people are going to potentially disagree with, oh, you know, Ryan, you should go for this certification or that one. As long as we keep it positive, I love to hear you guys' feedback. Remember, today's a great day to have a great day. So have a great day and thanks for watching.